this is the easiest thing in the world. There's two Jubilee clips here, there's another two here. There's a couple of vacuum hoses and pressure hoses on the back. And right back in there is the um, extraction for the crankcase fumes. So let's do, oh, and don't forget, has a bracket here to stop it rattling around. Take this guy out. This guy. As with all of these things, we need to try and be as clean as possible. wasn't particularly tight. That's not a good sign, is it? Two clips here. One. Two. Make sure you don't lose these guys. That one's... Make sure I've not used enough before because one of these clips is not quite right and the Jubilee clip's in the wrong place. See the clip there? It's not housed like this one. That's how I know this is being off. Put it back. There we are. See in there, a little bit of dirt. We're going to clean all of this stuff out later, but just check because you will get some sort of oil pooling up here if you're getting excessive um, oil vapor coming back on your crankcase emission system. Glove trick. stopped about 20 minutes ago so it's still piping hot. Be careful. There we go. Everything's flexible enough to get it out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Gentle with the cables and there we go. One shroud. Efficiency shroud. While you're here, just check on the inside of your radiator. Any debris, any dirt, and any damage. Now I can see on this side here, there's a tiny little bit where somebody squished the fins. So at some point, that shroud's been off to do some other work. What other work that would be? I have no idea. But tape, tape, tape. And seal over. So I've disconnected the cable for the fan, which is right here. Yeah. Fan clutch, two different sizes. Spanners, 36 to go on the actual nut and the 57 to wedge your pulley. Now, so support with your left hand, do not let it move. Right hand turns like this. Keep going. There we are. More of the same. As the instructions say, be very, very careful of the cooler matrix. That's the aluminium stuff. There we go. And we are off. Wow, that is a lot heavier than I would have thought. This here is a thread, our tool, wedged between this one and this one to stop our engine or our pulley from rotating and then you turn this way. So to screw it on, we screw it this way. How does this thing even work? Well, let me tell you. The actual hub of the fan, the metal part, with all the cooling vanes and stuff on it, 
That's a mechanical coupling. It operates based on a signal from the car's ECU. Do you remember the cable we removed when we took it out? That's where the signal comes from. This signal causes a valve inside the coupling to open and close. That in turn causes the fluid to release. So as the fluid flows out from the hub, it grips more and more and it engages more and more on the driven side of the pulley. So this spins up faster and faster. You know, and then this increases the amount of air that's drawn over your radiators and that then increases the amount of cooling that the engine and your cooling system and your air conditioning system all get. If the cooling demand reduces, the ECU signals the fan to reduce the load. This, it means basically to slow down because as the fan spins up and everything, you're sapping horsepower from the engine. And we don't want to do that. That's why we can switch it on and off effectively. We need to conserve as much power as possible to run efficiently and to have power available to put down to our axles and down to our wheels. But with a viscous fan, the reality is that even when there's no demand, no load demand from the ECU, from the engine, to say, hey, cool me down, the fan's always just slowly spinning away. This is due to like the, the drag of the, the fluid inside the coupling. It's nothing to worry about. It's just how they're designed to work. Or when you're at highway speeds, you know, you've got air coming through your radiator, blowing over the fan. This will make it turn. That's, that's how it works. It's the same as a windmill. You see the kids' windmill where they hold it up and they blow and the thing comes winging around, making all the pretty colors. It's the same thing. This is just a bit more technical, that's all. The one thing that you've got to remember and this is sort of like a crazy thing, is that at 75 miles an hour, you've effectively got a category one hurricane passing through the radiators in front of your car. So think of that the next time you get on the motorway and you put foot, as the South Africans would say.